You look brutal, man. I haven't been to sleep. But have you been to bed? I'm celebrating. Why? Six months today, I've been back. Yeah? Doesn't seem that long. I know. Whatever happened to Cindy? Cindy who? The one with the blue hair, the one with war and peace on her back in Braille. <laughs> she got married or something. Who cares? Burn. where'd everybody go? Who? Everybody we used to know, where did they all go? I don't know, man. Away? It's funny how people just disappear. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. Ten years and all this will be ours. Can't wait. We'll call the shots, run the show. Pay the bills. Make the money. Clean up the mess. Why is life so weird? Chernobyl. Christians. Take the day off. We'll go to my place, drink vodka, and watch cartoons. Yeah, I've used up all my sick days. <laughs> You're getting boring, Burn. Must be my age. Okay, call me. Sure. All right. Later. Later. This girl and her boyfriend are driving to their high school prom. They're taking this back road when all of a sudden the car runs out of gas. Right? The boyfriend tells the girl to wait in the back seat while he finds somewhere to get gas. She doesn't want to. But she's in high heels and everything. So she says she'll wait. She's scared. The boyfriend leaves and the girl gets into the back seat and hides under the blanket. <laughs> and then a long time later, she hears this sound. And it's like this tapping. Only wet. Oh! And it was like somebody knocking. Oh! Thank you very much. I know who you are. No, you don't. You used to have a TV show. You've confused yourself. You played a kid named Toby. Nope. You are David McMillan, right? Discovered again. Do you still do, you know, TV stuff? It's called acting, and no, I don't. Why not? I find being a waiter more artistically satisfying.
Hi. Hi. Uh, I feel like I just fucked the football team. Good money? Of course. Until ten days ago, Lynn and Win Two had lived their two and a half years in a hospital in Rangoon, Burma. The twin boys were normal from the waist up, but were joined from just below their diaphragms through their pelvis and shared a pair of legs and organs. Now at Toronto's Hospital for Sick Children, they have been separated. What are you reading? For 17 and a half hours. Teach Me How to Love by Linda Carlisle. It's about a small town girl that moves to New York and makes it big in the fashion industry. Sounds charming. How do I drag out the phrase it's shit for three columns? You'll find a way. You're not encouraging that stupid cat, are you? No. But nowadays, with new surgical techniques available, they're becoming more and more common. Two years ago, two children joined at the head successfully. Well, and that's our report. Would you let this man do unspeakable things to your body? Absolutely. I have a blind date with destiny. Sure you do. Bernie calls. Tell him I'll call him later. Right. You eat today? Uh, yeah, a bit. Eat something. You look a little drawn. I will. Ciao. On your way out? Night's wasting. You haven't called in a while. I will soon. You better have fun. Always do. Bye. How's it going? Not bad. It's good to see you. Me too. Why didn't you tell me? You never shut up long enough for me to tell you anything, asshole. Atlantis is shooting a Ray Bradbury in town. Oh, yeah? Lucy's casting. Waiting tables pays better. <laughs> hey, why don't you go out for more stage stuff? Too long, Sal. Well, good, David. Thank you. Got a joint. Always. Let's go outside. Mm. There's a spot on my futon. Oh, my God. My guess is either pizza or Vaseline. 
Where'd it come from? I don't know. Maybe somebody broke into our apartment and rubbed pizza on our futon. We'll get it cleaned. Get lucky? Got blown. Start to clear up a little bit as we move into the prairies. There is, however, a slight ozone warning today for eastern Manitoba and for western Ontario. I worry about you, darling. You should get out more often. Sleep around a bit. With the men in this town? You're joking. No, no, we have some fine men. I need someone who will hang around for my orgasm. Then stop dating straight men. I've already tried that. With you. I was a trainee fag at the time. There's a difference. I remember you liking it. No, it was okay. <laughs> Not really me, though. <laughs> Maybe I'd have better luck with women. I don't know, Candy. I can't see you as a dyke. Please, I'd be a lesbian. Are you cereal? Um, slightly cereal. I don't have much luck with men. That's not an exclusively female problem. Most of my friends are homosexuals. So are mine, but I'm not a lesbian. I'm going to bed. Let's order a medium rose bowl pizza with pepperoni, mushrooms, and green peppers and discuss your sexual prizes. I'd sooner drink piss. Good night. Good night. So we'll have shower activity in Vancouver with a high of 12 degrees. Scattered showers as well for Edmonton today. A high of 8 degrees and a brisk 8 as well in Prince Rupert. That's it. Contaminated air from them. Superior. Si intelligents sont-ils tombés dans le piège de l'histoire? Fire on the painted finish of this car. Look at the acid burning in the spray paint. Look at the ape crying on the hood of this truck. It's been protected. Yes? Hey, it's me. Come on in. Rough night? You catch the game? Damn, missed it again. What happened? A little scuffle. So why don't you call me back? Because I hate your fucking guts. Good, I thought you were avoiding me. And so what's up? Uh, I need a place to crash, man. Mi casa es su casa. Excuse me? <laughs> so no girlfriend tonight? Everybody needs a break sometimes. So who won the game? We did. Excellent. Good night, Burn. David? Yeah. When you were away, I missed you. Thanks, Bern. Night. Night. Morning. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll see you later. She doesn't like me. Well, you're a prick. I'm also late for work. So? You look great. Thanks. I'm Jerry. Candy. I'm in your no bounce class. Right. Spot me? Sure. 
Thanks. You're very strong. I'm working on it. You smoke too much. Yep. You ever feel like you failed? I'm a waiter. You? <laughs> I'm a civil servant. You failed. <laughs> Are you trying to get real with me this early in the morning? Walk me to work? Sure. The tin soldier stood in the bright glare and felt the most terrible heat. Was it the heat of the coals or the heat of love? He couldn't be quite sure. The bright colors. See you later. Kevin, do me a favor. Take my key, make sure everyone gets out safely, then I'll meet you and you can lock up. Deal? Yeah. from the gym? I got your number from the membership list. I hope you don't mind. Thought I'd call and see if you want to get together or something. I'll call back. Hey, gorgeous. Hi, guy. The usual? Uh, yeah, thanks. My pleasure. It's pretty slow, eh? It'll pick up. You want a chicken wing? No. Thanks. Tell me, do you ever drink anything um, besides soda water? Um, occasionally. Could I take you out for something sometime? <laughs> I don't even know you. You see me here all the time. What if you turn out to be some kind of sicko? Well, do I look sick to you? It's always the ones that seem the most normal that turn out to be axe murderers, so. No axe murderer. All right, then. Great. You're gay, huh? Not professionally. Gay's cool. I'm glad you approve. How old are you, anyways? 30 ish. Really? You don't look over 28. Thanks. You're in great shape for your age. It's the Geritol. <laughs> How about the one about the babysitter and the extension phone? Yes, please. OK. So there's this babysitter, and she's babysitting. It's a dark and stormy night. All of a sudden, the telephone rings. And this guy says, I've killed once, and I'm going to kill again. Yes.
I'm sorry. I'm too old to believe in a Porsche driving bus boy. Dad bought it. Good. I was afraid I was over tipping you. You want to come up? Up? To my place for a beer or something. Can't have the car out after one. How old did you say you were? 18. And you still have a curfew? His house, his rules. You know. No, but I'll take your word for it. Now I want that television set turned on right now! This bartender wants to take me out. Hold out for a brain surgeon. Well, it's either him or the lesbian I met at the gym today. Take the bartender. Mixed marriages seldom work. I want more than just sex. That's why God invented television. Mr. Dalloway, get there, Martini. Look at Richardson. You got second base. Kovacs is in big fucking trouble. Big trouble, baby. All right. I need some tenderness in my life. Hate the lesbian. I'm nervous. Candy, we're talking about a date. We're not talking about a lifelong commitment. Don't you ever wish you had a lover? I have many lovers. Not lover lovers. Didn't work for us. But that was different. I'm not into settling down. Deep down, you want someone to be special for you. I'm quite capable of being special for myself. Were you in love with me? I don't know. People do fall in love for the rest of their lives. Not me. You're wrong, David. Everyone needs to be loved. That's why we have friends. <laughs> It's not the same. Are you saying my relationships with you and Bernie are invalid? Oh, I don't like him. No. He's weird, David. He's not. Why was that blood on my face cloth? He was in a fight. Salute to femininity. Were you in love with me? It's not the right word. Seems like you were in love with me. There's no such thing. ...a carotene to a new, more complete... I know you were in love with me. Then why are we talking about it now? A million visitors and... ...streaming slowly from their hut. Oh, for Christ's sake, would you just pick a channel? remains have been identified as Sally Meninsky. This is the last picture taken of the 18-year-old hairdresser. Police refuse to speculate as to whether Meninsky's murder is connected to that of two other young women I'm going to bed. found in the area. This is Ashley Britton for CFRM Witness no News. No Elsewhere, the national unemployment rate climbed again today. 11.6. Boy, at a critical stage in a ball game, have they ever put a whale of a drive together? First and goal to go at the nine. And wins it out for Marshall, who scores easily. Second touchdown of the night for Blake Marshall. Oh, and what a great call. Play I hope you don't mind me phoning you like that. I know it's forward, but I just moved here and I don't really know anyone. Sure. Sometimes if you don't make the first move with someone, nothing happens. That's right. So, uh, do you want to do something sometime? Uh, all right. When? Well, whenever. I'll call you. OK.
special power. Special power. I think my attention span's too well developed for this. This is special power. Watch me. Where's your mother? Why? They divorced? No, she just likes to tan a lot. You got a girlfriend? No. Surprise. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing here? I just popped in. Uh, Kane, this is Bertie. Um, uh, Kane's my bus boy. Hi. How you doing? Excuse me. Looking? Small purchase. Shit! Ooh, someone's dead. I'm out of here. Hot day tonight. Always. <laughs> See you later. He gay? No. So, someone pays you to read books? And write about them. That must be great. I don't finish most of them. Why not? They're generally direct. Is that right? <laughs> it keeps me sane. You're a very interesting woman. Was dinner okay? Great. You didn't eat much. No, it was, it was lovely. You want more wine? No, I'm fine. Smoke a joint? No. Can I get you anything? Mm -mm. Do you want to fuck me? Sure. No, oh. I mean... Well, the way you were looking at me, wait, I thought... Why, that... why don't we just... Uh... I'd better go. Candy, wait. Drinks, dinner, conversation, bed. I just thought I'd get to the chase. You surprised me, that's all. Oh, sorry, Robert. I just don't have a lot of time for bullshit. Do you think I should call my parents? Tomorrow. Hi. This is Jerry. Just calling sometime, like I said I would. Let's get together and... Uh, hi. I just got in. So, when would you like to go out? I always wanted to see you on another show. I did try. I even moved to Toronto for a while. A and it didn't work out? Nope. You miss it? Toronto? Acting? Nope. Time to do what I'm about to do all day! Sure you want to do this? Just read him. What do you mean, read me? I'm psychic. I see stuff in people. Relax, it's an adventure. Is that coke? It'll loosen you up. I don't want to be loose. We'll find out what's inside of you. There's nothing inside of me. Just one line. 
I will if you will. All right. That was coke, wasn't it? Junk. Heroin? I don't do heroin. It's all right. I won't let anything bad happen. They follow me home. You know what you're getting into. Do it. Okay. Lavender blue, dilly dally. Lavender green When I am king Tilly Tally You shall be Comic books. Fear. Is that all? He's only 17. Really? He wants you. Right. He's thinking of you right now. Booze and junk and he still gets hard. 17. Do you want to be left alone? No. Why don't you take care of it? You owe me. Okay. You got any beer? Yeah, in the fridge. That was quick. 17. Souvenir? Mind pouring him into a cab? No problem. He really loves you. There's no such thing. No? need waxing. I'll get to them. They're filthy. They're floors candy. People walk on them. It's unavoidable. Are you, um, are you working tonight? Yeah, it's Saturday night. Why? I'm just wondering. 
How was I supposed to know? We need some Drano. It's not fair. Oh, I have to stop off at the liquor store on the way home. Olives? Yeah, I like olives. Since when? Oysters? Smoked. Who are you? What have you done with candy? Stop it. You're having someone over. I am? Who is it, the bartender? No. Not the dyke. Don't call her that. It is the dyke! David, please! Carpet munching in my own home! Oh, shut up, asshole. Candy. Sorry. You all right? Fine. That girl last night. Benita. Yeah. She really read my mind. What little there was. No way. She knew your real age. I'm nearly 18. No big deal. What's on the agenda for tonight? Actually, I made other plans. Other plans? Yeah, something I can't get out of, you know. Sure. Please. Did you leave him because you're a lesbian? No. I left him because he's a misogynist asshole. The lesbian thing came later. Man. Yeah. That's why I like living with David. I mean, at least fags can kind of relate. Some people are freaked out by gays and lesbians. Yeah, well, some people wear polyesters. So. <laughs> you happy? Sometimes. You? Everything's changed so much. Not all of us got to leave. You should have come to see me. Yeah, right. You okay? Why is everything so fucking hard? Not everything, just the important stuff. Same old bullshit. Every day I just go to work, I meet a girl, get laid, dump her. Who are you dumping now? Linda. Who's Linda? Just this chick I fuck sometimes. Hope you're playing safe. I think you need to worry about that more than I do. Same for everybody, Burn. Think about it that much? I don't want to die. Well, nothing's any fun if the possibility isn't there. <laughs> you mean that? Sure do. You know what I like best about coming up here? What? You can spit on the people walking below you. <laughs> and they have no idea where it came from. <laughs> You're the kind of person how the people watch. Focused. Well, it's the only way to get anything accomplished. You'd like to sleep with me, wouldn't you? Very much. Why? You're beautiful. No, I'm not. You thought about it? Yeah. I think I'm in love with you. Oh.
So when are you gonna get a real job? Waiting tables is a respectable profession. <sighs> it's kid stuff, David. Well, at least I work for the money I make. Now? I always did. Acting's hard work. <sighs> is that why you don't do it anymore? Nice. Acting's not the problem, it's auditioning. I hate it. Well, it's kind of hard to act if you don't audition. You just need some time. You've been back half a year. Yeah, so? So when are you gonna do something with your life? What, like you? Work at a job I hate and fuck women I can't stand? Fuck you, it's a life. It's not the kind of life I want. When are you gonna grow up? What? I don't fucking know you anymore. What do you mean? I used to know what you thought. You used to know what I thought. It's not like that anymore. What's in your head, David? It's in your head, bro. It's very strong. You want me to throw another olive in it? No, I'm okay. I want to touch you. Your hair. Your skin. I... Leave it. No, the machine's not on. Hello? scared. Me? Say something. Our floors are a mess. I'm not sure what to do. I am. Chicken night is flat. Are there any bags here? Sure. They just don't know it yet. Guess you've been busy, eh? Very. Look, Sal, I gotta go. I'll see you. You're mad. No. Sometimes I just want to get laid. 
It's okay. Who jerked me off the other night? Is that what this is all about? I can't remember it. It was me. No. And you liked it. Really? Go away. It was Benita. Let's go to my place. Big, huh? Where's your father? Hawaii, getting laid. <laughs> I'm definitely over tipping you. I love realism, it's so lifelike. Come on, I've got something I want to show you. How do you identify one? Uh, they, they, they tend to, um, they, they tend to specialize uh, uh, a certain type, uh, a certain place, uh, a certain way. A certain way of killing? Yes. Uh, some take uh, souvenirs. Souvenirs? Yes, like a, like a talisman, uh, hair, jewelry, clothing. Other things. Well, Ready? we're talking today with Dr. Herbert Sun, author of Unique Nightmare, a history of the serial killer in America. Ta-da! Massey Ferguson and the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation presents The Beavertons. Starring Jonathan Webster as Sandy, Amy McKillop as Amy. <laughs> David McMillan as Toby. And <laughs> Jonathan Crow as Indian Joe. You're damaged, Kane. I thought you'd like it. You were wrong. Don't go. What do you want from me? I just want to be your friend. I don't need another friend. So what do you need, then? I need a lover. I don't think I'm like that. Like what? Queer. You're scared of me. No. Uh -huh. Scared of what you're feeling. I never met anybody like you before. Kiss me. Now turn around and pull your pants down. Do it. Thinking of me? Yes.
feel close. Time to sleep. I need a moment. There was an extra pair of shoes at the door. She's sleeping. Do you ever feel like like you're nothing like anyone else in the world? Only all the time. Somewhere there is one person waiting for me. Feeling like me. There are a lot of people in the world who feel like that. Hello? Now? Really? No, okay, I'll be there. I have to go. Anything important? <sighs> Obligation to a friend. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be okay. Sleep in here if you want. Thanks. Later. Later. Can't sleep with me? Oh. Well, it's always been a problem. I'll go. Call me? Sure. Okay, bitch. Now I'm gonna show you how to act like a real woman. Get real, asshole. Just what the hell's going on here? Was you just having a little fun? I'll show you fun, boy. Please don't hurt me. Please. 
reading this book about John Wayne Gacy. He was this guy who put these dead boys in a crawl space and covered them with lime. Benita, I just ate. I love reading about that kind of stuff. It's not healthy. Is anything anymore? Watching Herb get off on the cowboy shtick sure wasn't. At least he was paying for it, not forcing it on someone who wasn't into it. You were, uh, very good. <laughs> very believable. He could have been my father, your father. My father was never that gentle. You got colors. What? I've never seen that kind of stuff around you. What is it? Something dangerous. For me? I can't tell. Maybe for somebody you love. Bad chance. Be careful. Always am. Some wonderful writing. Thanks. Why do you uh, hate everything? Uh, what? You haven't read anything recently that, that you really love. Oh, haven't I? I think that's a challenge. Write about something you really love, uh, 500 words. I'll make the things you hate uh, more interesting. Hey, big guy, uh, I'm at the office. I just called to see what you're up to. Uh, give me a call when you get in. My parents aren't home, if you want to come up. Um, it's late. I have to work in the morning. Whatever. So maybe it's only possible to get what you need from a series of people. I treated them both badly. So go apologize. To who? To Jerry? To whoever you want to try again with. Why don't you have some dessert? Uh, actually, I've kind of double booked myself. Who is it? OK. I'll see you later, and you'll get the check. Why don't you stay? We're just having a drink. Thanks, no, I'll, I'll find something better to do. Hi. I'm not chasing you away, am I? Whatever gave you that idea? Yeah, you sure? I promise. Okay. Okay, just this once. Yeah. Okay.
this is Robert. I can't come to the phone, so please leave a message. Hi, Robert. You're not in again. You sure must be busy. Anyway, Sally sends kisses and says hi. Call me. I miss you, Robert. Sally? Couple of friends. Huh. Good friends? Hi! Hey! Good to see you. Me too. You out of here? Yeah. Have fun. You too. Did you come? It was great. Did you come? Sure. Thank you. You're right now, but then neither are you. Perhaps if you were, we would be too. Hi, Candy. I've got an extra ticket to the Karen Young concert tonight. Call me if you're free. I found this earring in the carpet. That's weird. Whose is it? No idea. You got a lot of girlfriends, Robert? Oh, millions. <laughs> Perfect. such thing. <sighs> Marriage? What about it? Do you think it works? I think it... It probably changes things. Excuse me, do you gift wrap? It's what we live for. Hi, David, it's Sal. Look, I know, I know you probably won't want to return this phone call, but I thought I should tell you. 
My, my sinuses have been bothering me a lot lately, so I went to the doctor. Seems I missed you again. Are you ever home? Anyway, call me. Needs a first down. Come on, throw, throw it, throw it, throw it, come on, throw the ball, throw the ball. Looking for Williams get down the sideline. He's in the cover. He makes the goal. What a pleasant surprise. What's the occasion? I've been home. Sure, long enough to leave half your hair in the tub and steal four of my condoms. I think I'm in love. Hi, David. It's Sam. Uh... Look, I know. Great. Maybe he'll clean the tub and replace my condoms. You're cranky. Slightly. Well, get over it. He's coming here tonight. Candy, no. Darling, we're talking about a potential future husband here. Who'd marry you? Lots of people. Like the psychotic bush bumper on the answering machine? Don't. Sorry. You tell this guy I take it in the face? Yes. Great. Should I wear a dress or my knee pads? Just be yourself. Which one? You get it, I'm preening. It's too early. David, the paper boy's here. What? Kane. Kane? Kane, my roommate Candy. Candy, my busboy Kane. Oh, hi. Hi. This isn't a bad time or anything, is it? Well, Candy's intended is about to arrive. Oh, don't be silly. Come in, come in. Beer? Sure. Oh, excuse me, I have to go, um... Try on everything I own. Nice girl. Thanks. Sometimes I think there's something wrong with me. I never met anyone born after 1965 who wasn't incomplete somehow. Why is that? Microwave ovens, I think. You scare me. Why? Because. Because. I'm far too old for you. I know. You've got a million things you've got to do that I couldn't consider experiencing again. I want to be like you. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Gorgeous. Bad timing, huh? It's okay, I should go. Can we talk? Later. You promise? Sure. Who was that? We're not sure yet.
That's rimming. Our station has just been informed that the police have vital information that's being withheld from the public. There are certain pertinent facts about the crime that we can't release to the public. It's standard procedure. Is it true that each of the victims was found missing an ear? Hey! You should have been here half an hour ago. Maybe it's car trouble. He doesn't live that far. Foot trouble. Arrange thyself enticingly on the futon. I'll let the dick of death in. Prince Charming! I'm Jerry. Of course you are. Won't you come in? Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, candy! Jerry. Tea? Beer? Tea. This isn't a bad time, is it? Not at all. What's this? It's for your birthday. My birthday was six months ago. I missed it. Open it. A gift. How festive. All out of tea. Thanks. Sit, sit. So, Candy tells me you're a lesbian. David. That's right. I'm queer myself. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we seem to have exhausted that particular topic. So, uh, Candy tells me you used to be on TV. For a minute. Waiting tables is so much more challenging. Hey, it takes a certain kind of person to wait tables. You've no idea. People ordering Thousand Island dressing on their Caesar salads, some nights I can't sleep. Anyhow, I'm sure you two have a zillion things you need to talk about, so... I'm out of here. I'll get it! Who could that be? You're David. You're late. I know. Oh, Candy! Sorry. I got this long-distance call. I see. I'm Jerry. Robert. I'm a friend of Candy's. Me too. Great. Yes. It's a, it's a real nice apartment. Thanks. Thanks. Oh. It's a real nice tofu. Called a futon. A futon. Weren't you going out? No. You crazy? Who's present? It's candies. Are you gonna open it? Please. No, really. Come on, Candy. Please. No. It's only a present. Yes. Really, I it's don't. It's for you. Look, I don't want the fucking thing. Well. It's nothing much. That's okay, Jerry. I think you should apologize. I'm sorry. This isn't a good time. I just want to talk. Well, I can't. The lady brought you a gift. Stay out of this. She's your friend. She's not. I I've seen her a few times. We slept together. Don't listen to her. Candy, I love you. No, you don't. I can't stop thinking about you. You're crazy. Please, take the present. No, I bought it for you. I don't care. I don't want it. Well, neither do I. What is it? Shut up. Can we please calm down? This will come back on you. It will. Girls, girls. What we did was real. Jerry. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry I was so late. Who cares? I'll go. Sorry you couldn't stay for coffee or liqueurs. Nice to meet you. You too. Here's to love in all its many forms. Do you ever get tired of being a professional faggot? Don't. You have nothing and no one in your life. I have what I need. You don't think past the next beer or the next fuck. At least I'm honest about it. Honest? Please, you've never been honest. You've been lying about your feelings for so long they don't even exist anymore. Why, because they're not your feelings? At least I'm willing to try. For anyone who comes along. That guy might have loved me. You're pathetic, Candy. You fuck everything up. When are you going to stop blaming me for everything that's wrong in your life? When are you going to admit you're never a good actor? When you admit you're in love with a faggot because it's the only way you feel safe. Shut up. I don't need you, Candy. I don't need anybody. Oh, yeah. And you call me pathetic. I know you probably won't want to return this phone call, but I thought I should tell you. My, my sinuses have been bothering me a lot lately, so I went to the doctor. And I got the virus. Not the disease, just the, just the virus. I, I know everything we did was low risk. I just, I wanted you to know. and beep. Hi, it's me. Uh, let's talk. Hey. Get in. The mother works the graveyard shift. The babysitter stays over. Every night, she goes to the same routine. Hate me? Something's different tonight. I'm wearing underwear. It's busted. What's this? Souvenir. Souvenir? Just one of those notches on the bedpost kind of things? You could say that. <laughs> He's been there when she put the kids to bed. He killed the dog and took his place. It was his head she'd patted. Oh. What?
want you to meet a friend of mine. Why? She'll do us both. Got to go. Oh, why? Somebody's coming over. Somebody's scary. Scary? Just leave. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Who is this? His wife, you stupid cunt. You want to know something about him, lady? Oh, Jesus, my stupid. We've been separated for five months. You can't let go. Well, I can. Candy, I was going to tell you. When? Well, as soon as you told me about your fucking girlfriend. You know something? You're a prick. Bitch! <laughs> Candy, I'm sorry. I could kill you for that. I love you. Why don't you take your top off? I think you'd rather do it for me. Fucking right. Jesus, Bernie. Oh! Relax, man. She's no one. She's someone. Let her go. Relax, David. What do you think I'm gonna do? It's just gonna be sex, right? Something wet. Something warm. Show you what it's like. You'll know what I know. Mr. Big Shot Bag. You know him. No. You know him. <laughs> he likes to go in right here. Get wet and wiggle around. Let her go. Oh, it's warm. She's my friend. I'm your friend, David! Your only friend! Let her go! Kill you 
for that. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Do you know what it's like? Loving someone who can't love you in the same way. Yes. I'm sorry. Jerry. Do you think I'm fat? I think you're beautiful. I always have. here waiting for David well, why didn't you use the door you had company no! let's talk Bernie you never liked me get off of me women never liked me it's because he's ugly <laughs> He's very ugly. <laughs> Him, me, and David. <laughs> he knows now. He met him. He met him a long time ago. He's at the base of my brain, the top of my spine. We can smell you inside. He wants to taste you. <laughs> Kane, call the police. getting cold. You're the one. They were hairdressers and secretaries, for Christ's sake. They were people. Yeah, like you fucking care about people. I'm gonna stop you. How? You gonna kill me? What are you talking about? No one can make me pay for this. What happened to you? I changed when you left me. I didn't leave you. Yes, you did. You left me here all by myself. I had to try. You didn't fucking try. You've always done the easiest thing. You never had to work to get people to remember you. You've done stuff. You've been on TV. I did it for you, David. Because I want to be like you. Because it's all I could do. Serial killer and his best friend. Base of my brain, top of my spine. Boom! <laughs> Should remember that. They're gonna remember me most, David. Burn, you're sick. I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick. I'll get you help. Help! Help me! What about everyone else? What about you? What about everything? I love you, David. Hi, 
and I can't get to the phone right now. Uh, leave us a message, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks. Bye. Shit. Uh, I, I guess I missed you. Um, I'm gonna be home all day, so, uh, if you want to call me when you get back, you can, uh, tell me how it went, whatever. Um, anyway, break a leg, baby. Bye. So they're gonna make me a waiter. Hey, good for you, Kane. Hey, hey. You gonna read? Yes, he's gonna read. How are you? I'm alive. Call me. Sure. We'll talk. Oh, uh, I hope I get the part. <laughs> I can't do it. Yes, you can. You have to, David. Will you wait for me? We'll just be having a coffee. You'll be great. Blow them away. Now get in there. Hey. I love you. Such a scene. 